folks. How are you? Good to see you again. The, uh, I, we have another great show lined up. My good friend Dwayne Weiss is here with me. And uh, we've got lots of interesting things to talk about. I hope you had a wonderful, joyous Christmas and a happy new year. And you're ready to go. And we're ready to go. That we are. Another year. Hard to believe, isn't it? It is. Dwayne. Yes, sir. <clears throat> this morning, in this morning's Wall Street Journal, on the front page, was a story about people that wear socks to bed at night. Hmm. Now, do you do something like that? No, I don't. But I have. A, I live with somebody that does. Okay. My she, wife she's wears got socks. Her, she's got bed socks. Yeah. They're big. Woolly jobs. Yeah, they're, they're like uh, lumberjacks used yeah, to wear. That's right. Well, they, people, uh, a study was done, and it showed that young men fell asleep faster and slept more soundly and longer wearing socks than hmm. not. So... Some of the other people have come out of the woodwork and said, all these psychopaths do things like this, wearing socks to bed. What are you, why do you mind? And they claim it causes an imbalance between your feet and the rest of the body. And the rest of the body when you starts wear socks. reacting to the feet being cold. Okay, yeah, my feet are always cold. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I, I'm at a loss. Well, first of all, I don't, num number one, I don't care whether people wear socks to bed or not. I think it was a stupid thing to put on page one of the Wall Street Journal. It's called Slow News Day. <laughs> right. <clears throat> and I simply don't care. Yep. But uh, we asked our producer, our crack producer, Andrew, and he said that he does not do anything crazy like wearing socks to bed either. So I think we're just going to agree, probably, that people that wear socks to bed are probably psychopaths. I'll tell, what, I'll tell her when I get home. There we go. I'm glad we sorted that out. Um, General Motors, by the way, folks, I had this show all planned out. I had an apple pie order, and I made the mistake once again of looking at the news this morning and reading the newspapers. So I do have three or four little miscellaneous things to talk about before we get going. General Motors. Well, uh, two things. I think if Miri Barra, the president yep. of General Motors, was a man, she would have been fired a long time ago. Probably. Um, she did her best to destroy the uh, Cadillac name. And... Uh, they forecast 150,000 electric cars for 2023. Yeah, I think they better revise that. Uh, the, well, the, the number was published yesterday. Okay. Would you get a guess what it was? 12. <laughs> 75,000. 75,000. Yeah. 75,800 to be exact. Uh, that was 3% of their total sales. Um, and... Mo there was just about all of it was the Chevy Volt. Yeah. So guess what they've done with the Volt? Discontinued it. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so the American public is not interested, for the most part, in electric cars. Nope, we're not. There's a certain percentage that was, but they were the the toy people. I. If I get something comes out, I want it because it's a new toy. But and it goes zero to 60 in yeah, three yeah, seconds. Yeah, it does. It, they fly. Yes. So mm -hmm. that's just what I want in the hands of little Bobby, age 17, yeah. when he takes Mary Jane to the uh, senior prom. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Have him driving that. Uh, uh, this, uh, you said, I said the same thing about the Dodge Viper. Mm -hmm. It was... 
so difficult to drive and so difficult to, to handle. handle. That's right. Uh, because it was so overpowered that you need a pilot's license. Yeah. Well, that, what is the, that Arch Hellcat, the new one. Yeah. 835 horsepower. Yeah, that boy, oh boy. It, huh? The dealer can't even turn that on. It comes with a, a less horsepower, but it, it's capable of 835. The dealer can't turn that on until you complete a day or two driving course by from Chrysler or Dodge, I guess it was. Unbelievable. Because it just can't be handled by a regular street person. I mean, I get a an old Mercury with a V8 engine, and it's uh, 4.6 liter. Mm -hmm. The old, I think it's a, around a 300 or 302 or something, yeah, 280 right. or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, I can't conceive of any reason why anyone would need something more powerful than that. I can't either. No. I mean, there's no racetracks in Norfolk. There's no turnpikes. Nope. Uh, no autobahns. No place you can really use it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the friends, our friends at Ford Motor Company, however, had a pretty decent little year for themselves. They had a 7% increase in total vehicles well, cool. sold. And uh, they re are rejiggering the pricing on the 750, uh, on the 150 pickup truck, the Lightning version. Yep. And now the stripped down model goes for 55,000, and the loaded model goes for 93,000. That's absurd, you know that? Yeah, to go to the dump on Saturdays? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's madness. Mm -hmm. Absolute madness. Uh, I, I, words fail me. Yeah, me too. I, I don't know where the. I don't know if I'm just, or maybe you two are, are getting out of touch, but we don't seem to have the, the price value relationship that the younger crew. Well, to have. you know what my wife refers to me as. Now you may be shocked by this. Oh, I, I will be. She refers to me as an old fart. Yeah, well, I get that's the same thing here. I oh, think. okay. That, it's part of the yeah, we, wives union. Yeah, we. Those are the names that are. Uh, you can't avoid to that us. membership. That that <laughs> that club is automatic. I just don't see any sense to this madness. I don't either. You know, so yeah, I you know, go to the dump on Saturdays, and I helped my son when he bought a recliner. Those pickup trucks are really handy. Yeah, boy, oh boy, 53000 bucks for one. Mm -hmm. When you can go out and buy a reasonable used Toyota pickup or a used um, Nissan pickup for six or $7,000, if that's all you want is something. Yeah, to, if you're just taking it for a utility vehicle, yeah. that's, it is, it's yeah. nuts. I, uh, uh, all right, so um, the legislature is getting set to take up gun reform. They put out a news flash that they are now, the House has passed a we, gun we reform. We talking national here? I uh, know, Massachusetts. Massachusetts, okay. Yeah. Uh, they have passed a. Um, ragtag sort of a thing. And now the Senate is going to do their thing because uh, we have some differences with the House version. You know, in other words, uh, uh, we, we want to put our spin on it, you mm -hmm. know, rather than their spin. What so, they, What do they really want to do? Well, um, they Dum, 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 dum. Okay, this, it, it, this is all stuff they're leaking out in no mm -hmm. particular order. Right. But on background, they're telling the press that they want to tackle ghost guns. They also want to tackle the process for converting a semi-automatic firearm into an automatic firearm. I read about that. Well, but they had the bump stock for the rifle, long rifles. Well, yeah. Now there's something with a Glock that they can make it automatic. Yes. Yeah. 
So we have, the, the, by the way, this lady sounds like she is really on top of things. The majority leader in the Senate is Cindy Cream, C-R-E-E-M. I'm not making any smart remarks. Huh? Now, quote from here. Th this is the scary part. We've learned that ju there's just, so, that she's talking now about the process to come up with a Senate bill and how they're talking among themselves and they've had anti-gun people and pro-gun people mm -hmm. in to talk to them. We've learned there's just so much crime out there, and it's scary. And if we could get rid of all the violence, that would be great. Sure but would. I don't have a bill yet. I'm still in the thinking phase. <clears throat> she is the majority leader in the Senate. The Massachusetts Senate. This is something a second grader could have written. Yeah, I know. But the violence is <clears throat> scary. Uh, this is the depth of our elected officials. Nobody has ever accused an elected official, particularly in Massachusetts and a few other states, of being the leading of the Mensa group. Yeah. Well, she clatters on as if this isn't disturbing enough. Listen to this. There are a lot of members in the Senate who wanted to have an opportunity to not take positions, but there were members like I was to begin with that didn't know what a Glock switch was or what a frame was. Well, that don't surprise me at all. Yeah, mm -hmm. but Dwayne, these are the nitwits that are going to write well, a gun reform package. First, it, first of all, they don't realize that the, as far as guns go, the genie is out of the bottle. You cannot stuff him back in there because right. there's all kinds of guns out there. You eventually can get a control, but what you're going to have to do first is punish the guy that's using it to commit crimes. Of course. And I mean punish. Yes. I, I don't mean probation or let him out on bail or her out on bail. I mean, if you walk into a 7-Eleven and you pull out a pistol and you say, give me your money, you get caught. That could be 30 years. Maybe more. In certain states. Hmm? In Massachusetts? Well, he's been locked up for 93 days. It's his first offense. So, and so it's time served mm -hmm. and six months probation. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't work. It doesn't work. The criminal laughs. He goes and buys another gun and holds up another 7 That's right. And eventually he's going to shoot somebody. Yeah. These people, well, they're not well educated. They have no job training. They are... Some of them are hooked on drugs and stuff like that. This is not the cream of the crop no. that's doing the crimes. So what do they understand? They understand if you do the crime, you're going to have to do the time. That's right. But we don't do that here in Massachusetts. We've got to get them back in the community. A lot of people that commit serious crime or violent crime are... If you looked at their personality, they're reactionary. Mm -hmm. They don't think about the consequences. They got a quick temper. They do something, boom, up, take them right now. Not to think what's what's going to be the consequences. They don't think that way. So Absolutely you, so right. The, and the kind of punishments that we put out there does not work with them. That's right. And to that point, okay, we've got another problem. Now, we have Manny Lopez, who murdered a cop and a woman, mm -hmm. has been involved in a long trial, and the, the judge finally said, mistrial, going to retry him again. So, 
Manny Lopez uh, in this summer trial the attorneys laid out a chaotic night no matter which way you looked at it. Lopes was with a f group of friends about to rent a movie from a, a local red box when his mood and actions changed abruptly after receiving a phone call from his girlfriend's former partner. He then took his girlfriend's car, crashed it in a neighborhood, got out, and acted erratically enough to cause the neighbors to call the cops. Sergeant Chesna was first on the scene. Chesna ordered Lopes to drop the large rock he held. Instead, Lopes chucked the rock at Chesna's head, walked over, stole Chesna's service pistol, and shot the police officer five times in the head and chest. Another responding officer was able to fire a shot through his window that struck Lopes in his leg, allowing police to catch him and arrest him. After the scene had quieted, police found resident Vera Adams had been shot and killed as she sat on her nearby porch. The defense mounted a lack of criminal responsibility argument for Lopes, with his lawyer arguing that his client has a long history of severe mental illness and often ranted about Martians, government conspiracies, and the Illuminati and exhibited symptoms of voices and shadows, people that weren't there. Paranoia. Something, you said the temple. Reactionary. Something ticked <clears throat> him off. That's right. And, and he went batty. That's right. Now, how? This, you know, the police, a lot of times, are put in positions they shouldn't be put in. Yep. But here's a guy that's got a rock. Now, he's walking, I, I assume, towards the police officer. Mm -hmm. Under normal circumstances, that police officer should have been saying, drop the rock or I will shoot you. Mm -hmm. Drop the rock. Drop the rock. But yet, he got close enough to the police officer to throw it and hit him in the head. Knock him down. He got the cop's gun and shot him five times. The police are now being told they have to restrain themselves. That, uh, that's why that went where it did. That, well, there was a time pre Gavin or whatever his name out there in Minneapolis and some of them other people, he'd have been, they'd have blew him away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, in Massachusetts, if you have an intruder in your house at night. Yeah, I know this. I what know. are you supposed to do? Go out the back window. Run away. Yep. Yeah. That's right. Uh, even if you have a firearm and even if this guy's threatening you, yep, you have to, to run no, you away. You can't defend yourself. Isn't that something? That's crazy. It's just it absolutely is nuts. Absolute madness. Yep. And you wonder why nuts like this do things like they do. Why wasn't this guy in a mental health facility, a mental health prison? Now you got attorneys saying, well, he's mentally disturbed. If you tried to take him to a or commit him to a, a treatment, they said, oh no, you can't touch him. He, he's got his right to be well on the streets like anybody else. You got to remember, when attorneys make these defenses, they work both sides of the street. Mm -hmm. Whatever they think is going to work for them, that's what they what, use. Who's ever paying them? Yeah, sure. That's right. Well, of course. Yeah. And I don't disagree. I think that's, everybody's that's what they're, entitled that's what to they do. That's yeah. That's their... But we've gone mm -hmm. way over to the other way. You know... Most states in the Union, I shouldn't say most, I'm not sure it's most, a lot of states in the Union have passed 
the home is your castle legislation. Mm -hmm. Anybody comes in your house that doesn't belong there, you have the right to defend yourself. Yeah, that, that, that is, that, that, what the hell do they call that to them? Well, it, well it's not exactly stand your ground, but. Well, no, it is standing your ground, um, yeah. The, um, this idea that Massachusetts and a few other states have that you have an obligation to run or to flee, uh, that's, that's just asinine. It is, it just runs, just counter to mm -hmm. every single, um, instinct that you have yeah i mean i should run oh i'll leave my wife there though mm -hmm. with this guy or i'll leave my infant son there with yeah, this well, guy there's all kinds of ramifications of the mm. of this thing but you know bill you're, you're living in a state that's first of all it's a namby state it wants to control every aspect of your life there's very little things that this state doesn't want. Mm -hmm. You can't buy a firecracker. Mm -hmm. No, you can't buy a sparkler. Yeah. They want to control that. Yeah. You can't buy this. You can't buy that. There was a time you couldn't buy a six-pack of beer on Sunday. You know, finally, it's changed. some of that's changed. But still, you, you can't go hunting on Sunday. You couldn't buy condoms. Yeah, you couldn't buy condoms. Yeah. Yeah, you had to go to a druggist who would put it in a plain paper bag yeah. for you. In hand to you. The states, the towns and cities can't issue their own liquor license. The state has to control how many they're going to give. How many them. you can they give? Yeah, no, no uh, freedom of. Oh uh, no, no. Enterprise. The state has to control everything. Yeah. In the system where even in our state universities, have an athletic program. See that's when UMass was went to Final Four in basketball, and they were had a. A big following. Any money made off that program didn't stay at UMass for the athletic program. It had to go to the, the legislature, to the general fund. They would diddle it out who we think we should have give it to. Possibly. Almost every other school system in the country, yeah. th they're self-supporting because of their athletic program, but not here. Here, everything has to go to the legislature. We're too stupid. We've always been too stupid. Remember when they used to set the, the auto insurance rates? Well, you're too dumb to, to go out and shop your own auto insurance. Right. We have to control that for you. And what happened when we uh, scrubbed that and the we got competitive bidding? Prices went down. The prices low and low. went down. Yeah. Well, before, there was only about a half of well, shit, four countries, that, four companies that would even sell in the yeah. state. That's right. So, yep. it, uh, we are controlled from birth to oh, death yeah. in this state. Uh, we have the most in, uh, uh, we have the worst um, inheritance uh, bill mm -hmm. uh, in the state where they can seize. If you have, I think, was 1.2 or 1.4 million dollars, after that they could tax it. Yeah to your heirs. I think they've doubled that. But still, it's among the highest in the country. Most of the country does not have in inheritance Death taxes. Death taxes, we yeah. commonly call them, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I do know, however... But nothing surprises me here. You're right. Well, this is going to surprise you. The USA... Boxing Commission, which controls amateur boxing, okay. has a new policy. Males changing their gender can now compete in boxing matches as females versus females. That should be interesting. Yeah. I wonder how long that'll last before somebody gets killed. Or they just totally dominate the whole sport. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, th that's happening in women's sports. Where are the women? Where are the, the, the feminists who should be screaming about that, Well, that's right, but I don't think it does any good anymore. Well, does The View talk about this and scream about it? No. I mean, 
this is uh, something that's happening with this woke administration, this change. That the, the trans, I don't want to call it a movement, I, I, I don't understand it to start with. And there's always been people, that, men that feel more feminine, men, women that feel sure. more masculine. And, but they didn't make a campaign out of it. They just no. lived their life the way they wanted to live That's it. That's right. And minded their own damn business. Yeah. If, if you wanted to wear a man's clothes, you wore a man's clothes. If you <laughs> if you wanted to go out and buy yourself a pretty little black dress thing and your name was Ralph, well, you did it. No, who cares? There you go. That is the most profound thing that this show will ever state. Who cares? Who cares? That's right. Good Lord. We're so busy in this state of minding someone else's business. Mm -hmm. You know, that sign that uh, used to be in uh, backyards in chicken coops. Anybody found in my chicken coop at night will be found in the morning. Yep. That, we just don't do that anymore. No, we don't. We don't. Yeah. It, the things have gotten so, I don't know what, what you'd call it, but so everything's got to be in a slot, everything's got to be rated, everything's got to have a, a name, and then they have to have a protection. Socialism. Yep. Everybody is equal. It's an equal playing field. But some are more equal than others. Well, how about the guy that's really smart, that invents something uh, and uh, manufactures it and becomes a multimillionaire? He's bad. Yep. you got to break, break his company up. Yep. Aye. All right, I got one more <laughs> problem that arose this morning. And well, then we can get into other stuff. Maybe you shouldn't turn that TV on in the maybe morning. Maybe I shouldn't, is right. All right. So here we are, sir. Yes, sir. What? The story of the year is coming up. Clear politics is an interesting outfit. What they do is they take every single poll, political poll, Okay. And they throw it in a, a pot and they come up with the average. Okay. So the data is pretty good. Okay. Clear politics, average of all polls, the presidential Republican nominee, 62%. For Donald J. Trump, 62.7. 11% for Nikki Haley, 10.9 for Ron DeSantis, and the others are in the ones and twos. I don't have any argument with that. So, it certainly looks. The Democrats are going to try their damnedest to tie him up in court and see if somehow they can knock him out of the presidential race. I uh, don't think it's going to happen. The Supreme Court's not going to allow it. So, I don't know. I think it's a slam dunk. I think it's Donald Trump versus Joe Biden. Unfortunately, I think you're right. Yeah. I, I kind of hate to see it because it's going to be... The well, actually, entire country is on your side. They want, no, no one wants to no see No one this. wants it, but somehow the, 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 the sh movers and shakers, we, you just can't get away from them. You know what? I think it's not unlike a glacier. It's moving. You can't stop it. Mm -hmm. Uh... I think most logical people would say, I'd feel a lot better with Nikki Haley as president than Donald Trump. Oh, I think uh, if you got a, three brain cells that work together, yeah, yeah. you'd say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yet, 
he's got the momentum. He has got his core energized far above and beyond what everyone else's core he's is. He's got a cult following. That's right. That's, it's a phenomenon, but that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I hate, now I can't go there. But now the only thing that's going to save this, the whole group here is that somehow, somewhere, and there, there are a bunch of them, I just saw an article, Democrats that are, there's somebody out there that they could pick other than Joe Biden. Oh, yeah. That would sweep this thing right off their feet. Then, then I think the MAGAs are going to have to say, well, we're going to lose the whole thing here if we run Donald Trump. But the, 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 oh, the MAGA won't. Yeah, they, they won't. They, they won't. They're, they're the, the, you're right. I'm, I shouldn't have said MAGA. I should say the, uh, uh, the moderate Republicans. Yeah, which is getting to be a rare beast in the mm -hmm. Republican Party, much to their chagrin. Yeah. All right, they but need the moderates to win. Yes, the they do. Election. But the the, the poli political moderates or the politician moderates, not necessarily the yeah. political. Yeah, they're afraid because they know damn well if Donald Trump gets in, he's coming after him. If you're not loyal to him now, and he has said, retribution is mine. I'm going to do it. And let me tell you, the one of the best articles I read in the Wall Street Journal was about revenge politics yep. and how this is going to bite him in the ass if he can it campaigns can as someone that I'll fix them when yeah, I'm Yeah, when elected. I you just wait, I'm going to fix yeah. your wagon. Yeah. Well, that is not what the American people want. No, to hear. they don't. Maybe the magus want to hear it. Mhm. Mm but that's not what the American people want to hear. So we have something the, the, we know where the left is. The right is this group, the MAGAs, this group, the traditional Republicans, mm -hmm. um, and then over on the left is, well, the left. And in between is the so-called independents. Now, that's the group that is going to elect the president. Uh, oh, sure. Yeah. And by us threatening, the Republicans, I'm saying, threatening that we will heap revenge on the people. The, the independents tend to be well-educated. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They don't want to hear that. No. I don't want to hear that. I don't either. It, it's, it's, it's not American. Yeah. Instead, the... Uh, <laughs> What Biden and his crew has done is do that to us without saying it. Yeah, well, he, I don't know. He, he does things that are probably sometimes right, but he comes off doing them wrong. Mm -hmm. He looks like he's going to do them wrong. Um, I don't, see, I don't believe that Biden's doing much of anything because he's, he's a figurehead at this point. I don't think he's got the, the wherewithal to stand up and be the, the leader. He's got some advisors. He's got people that are pulling the strings in the background. Yeah. And, and you know, Howie Kai had another column in the Herald of Biden's misspeaks for yeah. the last month. Now, all news services get transcripts of every word the president says. Yeah, exactly. And they don't um, correct them. Okay, if he misspeaks, it's it is verbatim every word that he has that's, said. That's right, because they're watching for, they're looking for everything he does. Well, this is actually the government doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's been it's been something that's been practiced, uh, I guess, for eons, and it goes to the news services so they can pick out the quotations when they're writing articles about yeah. the president or something like that. The misspeaks in this month's were embarrassed. I was embarrassed for Biden. Some of the things he said. Um, it, it, but you're right. He's not pulling his own strings. Mm -mm. I mean, they're being pulled 
for him. Well, no president ever does all his own because it, he's a human being. He doesn't have that kind of capability to do that thing. No, we can do you that. can't absorb that much material every day worldwide, what's going on, and, you know, it's coming at you from 100 different directions all the time. You've got to depend on other people. At some point. My wife gives me three things to do well, every I know. day. I, I, I can't even handle them. I think about one, I ignore the other two. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, well, the top 10 crime stories of 2023. Was that from the Herald? The Herald. Yeah, Boston, I got to change yeah. papers. I the top 10 crime stories. I'm not going to read them to you. Okay. Just, but I'll yeah, tell you what's just, not in there. What? Mayor Wu's party for uh, minorities oh. Oh, only. Oh, of color. Non-whites are not allowed. Uh, whites you are know not that allowed. made national, spread oh, yes. the whole country. You my, sure did. One, one, two of my brother-in-laws had to call me about that. Did I get invited? <laughs> what do you mean, <laughs> did I get invited? Her husband is white. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't get invited. But here was, here. you talk about an embarrassing situation for not only her, but for the state. And everybody that lives here. When you take a thing and you, first of all, they may have done this years and years and years and go on. It, 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 but nobody ever made a fuss about it. Nobody ever thought about it. Nobody ever thought. Well, didn't even know what was going on to start right. with. She decided to do it in the Parkman House. Yes. Which is a public facility. Public facility. Now, here's where it really blew it up. She inadvertently sent the entire Boston City Council an inv invite. And it just so happens I went three or four of them are not people of color. Now you're in the unenviable position of going back and say, um, uh, I have to disinvite you. Yes, they, she did it within 15 minutes it of the original email. Yeah, her, well, her aide that blew it. Yeah. yeah. Imagine. But, that, how embarrassing is that? And how quickly did those guys oh. that were disinvited yeah. leak that to the Absolutely. press? Absolutely. <laughs> and then now people like myself, I said, my God, how can you have a, a, a Christmas function or any kind of function, if not all, part or if not all are, are paid for by the taxpayers, and then you start limiting to people of color and then you say, well, I made a mistake. Now I got to disinvite you. It's like your kid gets invited to a birthday party and then the mother calls up and says, oh, by the way, I don't want Johnny here. I had his name mixed up with somebody else. My kid don't like you. Mm. You know? Uh, interestingly enough, um, the press has asked, who paid for that? Oh, and you know who paid for that. no answers for that. Of course, William. Unbelievable. That, but I, I was, I, I shouldn't have been surprised that it, it made, it just swept the country. Yeah. I mean, it, um, I think Mayor Wu is going to be a one-term mayor. Very possible. Yeah. The power structure in Boston is still white males. Yeah, the, the, the background, because the, the, that, that's where the money is. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where the money is. And when that starts to dry up, mm -hmm. and it will. Um, New Year's resolutions. I made one. Oh, did you? Yep. Yeah. Okay. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, well. Look out, world. I'm telling it like it is from now on. I don't care who I am. William Crane's on the hunt here. That's it. Um, Dwayne. I have got a great idea. Soccer's great uniforms are being auctioned off. Yeah. Um, there's a, a soccer player by the name of Messi. Yeah, there is. He's, um, he's famous. He's got six jerseys that he wore in the playoffs. Yeah, during Argentina's mm -hmm. winning run at last year's World Cup. These six, six jerseys, 
were sold as one lot for... Oh, got to be millions. $7.8 million. Yeah, oh, I'm not surprised. Dwayne. There are people out there with money that will pay anything to get these kind of notorieties. What dummies you and I are. Oh. The money that can be made. So here's what I propose. I propose that you and I auction off the underwear that we're wearing on the show. Just what I was going to say. Yep. So, and folks, you can bid on our underwear. Yep. Uh, send bids right here and to North Fox Cable TV. I think our wives have been taking our underwear out of the laundry because they're all worn out and throwing them out. Yeah. That's it. What a, what a, a waste. I'm not sure we'll hit $7.8 million. Well, we hit $6 million. All right. I was thinking more like 50 cents. 20 bucks. <laughs> 20 bucks. I don't think we're going to get that. But, you know, in that vein, I have often thought, you know, uh, charity works, for example. What would close that Taylor Swift war oh, yeah. sell for? It, it would be phenomenal. You know, she could make billions of dollars doing and this. Don't think she doesn't realize that. Oh, absolutely. And that stuff is somewhere under lock and key. But not just her, but all these celebrity yeah. types. Yeah, but it's especially her. Yeah, especially her, because yeah. she's, I think, I mean, probably she's, where's king of the hill there. On a separate yeah. plateau. Um, so, all right, Dwayne, let's switch gears. I have got a question to ask you. The, uh, for you folks that are just watching for the first time or maybe haven't been paying attention, Dwayne is born and raised in Wisconsin, right in the bloody middle of the Midwest. That's right. The well, we don't. Have, they never had. They didn't claim to fame that, but they would. They'd take it if they could. Yeah. I think was it some place in Nebraska or Kansas now. I don't oh, know. Oh, exactly. the center of the country. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I've got it someplace. Okay. Yeah. Um, the highest rape rate. Okay. Among Cities of 50,000 or more are Benton Harbor, Michigan, okay. Highland Park, Michigan, Saginaw, Michigan. I did see that someplace. And Minneapolis, Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah. Now, help me with something. Aren't those all Midwest states? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> They're all Northeast states. <laughs> I see. <laughs> yes, the, they, yes, they are. And I, I don't remember what, what the... There had to be some kind of underlying factor there, and I can't remember okay, what Okay, now, was. here's another one. The largest city in the country without a murder, Lincoln, Nebraska. Okay, that, that makes okay? sense. Okay? The largest city without a rape. Appleton, Wisconsin. Okay, yep. So we've got both ends of the spectrum. Yeah. Over here, we've got rapists running wild. Over here, we've got people acting like normal human beings. No murders, no rapes. What, what's going on with this Midwest? I don't know. Thing? I don't yeah. know if, it's, if there's a select group of people in those areas that mm. are, are they causing it or... I, I don't know. It, yeah, I, I just thought it was extraordinary because you think in the Midwest and you look at low crime rates, uh, neighborhoods, yep. apple pie and vanilla ice cream, kids behaving themselves, yep. good schools. I mean, you name it. Uh, and good people. Yeah, they look out for each other. Yeah. Hmm? What is this? What is this outlier? I don't. I, I don't know. I, I don't know where, how they 
what what skewed that to make that yeah. that a uh, statistical fact? But it, it probably is true. I, I don't. Well, I'm sure number it's wise, true. It's, it's true. Uh, but uh, but how can that be? I I just you know you listen. You expect crime to be out of sight in Newark, New Jersey, in New York City, uh, in Atlanta, uh, in Houston, Texas, but. Not the Midwest. Ah, I, I don't know. All right. All right. So I'm going to try something else. I bought a book, and it's called Either Or. So I'm going to ask you some Either Or questions. Okay. Watch only dramas for the rest of your life or watch only comedies for the rest of your life? Oh, my God. Comedies. Okay. <laughs> Monica, listen to this one. <clears throat> Marry a new random person every year. Or marry one random person and stick it out with them for the rest of your life. Marry one and stick it out. That's the safe answer. That's a safe yeah. because if you're doing it over <laughs> many, many, you're gonna got some real clunkers in there. <laughs> Have tea time or a coffee break? Coffee break. Me too. Lead a boring life from here forward or be reborn as a baby of the opposite gender. Boring life. Yep, me too. I Lunchtime, soup or sandwich? Sandwich. Okay, I like soup. Pancakes or waffles? God, I love them both. Um, pancakes. Yeah, me too. I think they taste better. Uh, for some reason or another, waffles are crunchy as a chew. Well, they are. Right? I, I do buy frozen waffles because yeah. they can put them in the toaster in the yeah. morning and just flip them down. And yeah, and then throw some uh, maple syrup yeah, on top of them. Yeah, maple syrup on them, yeah. Yeah. Which, by the way, that's the only thing we use. Right. Um, I don't. I use uh, uh, one of the brands, Mother Teresa's. You have to buy the diabetic, low, no. low sugar? No. No, okay. There, uh, that, the Monica's brother-in-law is in business with a, a maple syrup company. Mm -hmm. He has hundreds of acres of, of trees, and they have the pipelines where they yep. hook the trees all together with these little tubes, and the stuff runs down into these, uh, I don't know, look like what, 400, 500 gallon trailer wagons and they, in the spring, and they, they Loop run the sap. Mm -hmm. and it, it takes a lot of sap to make these yeah, things. Yeah, it does. A lot of sap is right. So he's got all kinds of maple syrup. He used to send us a gallon at a time. We had to stop. Don't because that's going to be that's three years for us or four years. Yeah. I now I just buy a little twelve ounce bottle in the store. It's so damn sweet. Yeah, yeah. you would only use a little bit. Yeah. Um, at the movies. Yeah. Popcorn or candy? Oh, popcorn. I'm okay. Love popcorn. Be a passenger. Or be the driver. Oh, geez. Now it's going to be passenger. It's been driver all my life. And 10 bill. It's been driver all my life. And then some of our friends, past year or two, says, I, I'm done driving. I'm church her now. And once in a while, when she does drive, it's, it's kind of a treat just to sit there and you know, look around. I have, I have told people this. I've been saying this since I was in my 20s. If I could have a genie that oh. lived in the glove box, yeah. and I went out to the car and said, get out and drive, genie, I, that would be heaven on earth. I, I would said, never have to drive. If I hit one of these big lotteries, yeah. I'm buying a, a nice car with a driver, a chauffeur. Going to buy a, buy a chauffeur you too. You betcha. So definitely ride right now, because it's amazing. I remember 
oh, maybe five years ago, maybe more than that. We went down to the Cape, and we have been down, you know, over the years, you've been there hundreds of times. And that was the first time I ever rode down there. I thought, I never saw them before. I never saw that. I never, because when you drive, you don't see this kind That's of right. stuff. You know what? I have said the same thing to my wife. I never noticed that before. Yep. Well, yeah, you know, you're driving. That's why. That's you right. Know? Yeah. Crazy. Sit on a couch or a recliner? Oh, a recliner. I like the couch. Um, date someone who talks too much during the movies or date someone who wears too much perfume? Boy, that's a hell of a choice, Bill. Um, that's like Sophie's choice here. Um, you want to get shot with a <laughs> shotgun or a rifle, huh? Let's see. Uh, perfume. Okay. Me too. Um, have a personal chef or a personal driver? Oh, a driver. That's it. We'll do more next time. Okay. I bought a book. 3,001 of which those, ones we which ones? chose. So we got plenty more. Okay. Some, some of them are silly, but some of them are thought provoking. Oh, before we forget, I got a request, folks. It was a riddle, and I lost track of it. And it basically was a riddle that they used in the POW camps in Vietnam. And it was very difficult to, to solve. But that's why they used it. It gave the guys something to work on and work on. And I used to know it, and I knew the answer. Somebody out there knows it again. It's basically you're walking down a path. The path is going to split into two, two lanes. Each lane is guarded by an individual. Now, but at the end of the path, one is complete reward, and the other is death or misery. Now, that each path is guarded by an individual. One, one of the individuals cannot tell a lie, and the other one cannot tell the truth. How do you know which one, or what do you ask, and how do you know which path to take? There is an answer, but I cannot remember it. <laughs> Somebody out there knows this. That's right. You're absolutely right. Um, and we got plenty of guys out there, Vietnam vets. Mm -hmm. it, it's not just them. It, it was an old, ancient thing. It's got a little... Well, got, got some yeah. I remember it had a couple of twists and turns in there. But well, well, when the, you look at the it... two doors. Yeah. It's the same, same thing. Yeah. Yeah. But even after you get the answer, then you got to say, hey, like, I'm thinking about this, but I'm thinking... You got to kind of sort it out in your mind. It's a real, it's a real mind twister. You're right. I've never known that one, but I have known about the two doors. Mm -hmm. What's once behind one? The lions. Yeah, once oh yeah, that one. Behind the too. other, you're free. Yep. Um, I, predictions for the upcoming year. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, I have a second. Uh, uh, New Year's resolution. I'm going to grow hair in uh, the coming year. Where? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how successful that will be. Well, five, Bill. Okay. Uh, it depends on how serious you are about it. Not two. All right. Uh, I don't know. Do any of the... Rogaine, it used to be Rogaine. Yeah. Did any of them think they ever really I worked? I don't think so. I, I don't, I don't remember, so. remember anybody. No. I, I don't either. And, and by the way, I joke about it. But no one would know who you I, were if you had I, I never have given it a second thought no. in my life. No. It's, it's just something to joke about. It's who, who cares? It's who you are. Yeah. You know, my and, dad went bald when he was 22. Mm -hmm. And I... I I got the widow's peak, oh, okay. and I was pretty pretty bald by the time I was thirty. Um, 
Prediction. Another year of senseless slaughter in the Ukraine-Russia war. Oh, yeah, it's going to continue. I, yeah. I agree there. That's a, this, um, and this is going to be, I think, Biden's legacy. He took the Ukrainians and tied one arm behind their backs by not giving them the kind of equipment they needed mm -hmm. early on. Yeah, he was, he was too timid with some of that stuff. Absolutely. And as a result, how many more people died mm -hmm. because of his timidity? You're right. And Vladimir is just taking advantage of that. I mean, this guy has got the biggest chutzpah to say, well, you know, you, you crossed over our border, now we're going to do this. Well, you've been slaughtering these people for, what, two years now? And you got no place in this world to complain when they strike back. Yeah. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Well, look, he's a thug. Oh, he is. Uh, uh, he has the morals of an alley cat. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you expect? Yep. Uh, as my brother used to say to me, what do you expect from a pig but a grunt? That's a good, I like that. Yeah. Now he, he just doesn't, his speech, his New Year's speech, we only target military infrastructures. Yeah. Oh my God. The first, the first pictures coming out of there were apartment buildings all blown to hell. Yeah. I said, I, I figured, well, we talked about that. They must be damn poor shots. Yeah, yeah. Because they're hitting, hitting the housing. The civilians, and the yeah. Yeah. But it wasn't. It was, it was on purpose. Um, I do not see the end game for the Ukrainian war. I don't. I cannot see how it's going to end. This is a war of attrition, and I think blood will flow for another year. Uh, oh, yeah, at least a year. There's no Because Putin's not going to give up. No, we can't now. No. But he made a mess of things in uh, some of the uh, other uh, little states that used to well, be. Well, Afghanistan, he got himself there and he yeah, had to Chechnya, bail out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Afghanistan, mm -hmm. I mean, you name it, and he made a mess of it. What's going to be the turn point there? is if it gets down to the point where he has to they start running a subscription, uh, a draft, yeah. I think that people are going to turn on him. Oh, and I know and they once will. they start turning on him, then, he's, then the things are going to change. Yeah. Um, well, we just got the uh, timeout signal from Andrew. So, folks, um, we're going to have a short timeout, and uh, you can uh, go get a couple more cans of Miller High Life or popcorn or pretzels mm. or whatever, waffles. Maybe a Jack Daniels. It's kind of that dreary day. JD. Cold out there. And we'll be right back. <laughs>